Right, so like I mentioned, we just want to take a look at uh, the uh, conversations going on online. And really, as you can imagine, really largely uh, to do with the full verdict uh, yesterday. Joining me right now here on our Super Bowl by way of Skype is Kimani uh, Nyoike of Maskani254. Remember, you can follow him on his Twitter at Kimani. Uh, nice to see you, Kimani. Um, I don't know how you've been receiving the um, uh, Supreme Court full verdict. It has been a big conversation online. What have you been focusing on uh, personally? Good morning, how are you? Um, personally, uh, mainly it's uh, going through the Supreme Court ruling. We had to sit the whole day and partly right. into the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and there are things that are coming out, especially to do with the with the dissenting opinion, mm -hmm. which actually took a lot, a lot, a lot of time. And I don't know whether people were still concentrating on what, on what the judges were saying. But uh, there are things to take out from the Supreme Court ruling in terms of, especially the, the quotable quotes from the ruling itself, mm -hmm. uh, especially from, from the majority of judges, where one of the things that came out was whenever the law ends, tyranny begins. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things we need to be cognizant of. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Justice Muilu uh, had this to say, that the number the numbers must just add up. Um, there's one thing that we also need to realize that the, um, this is the first time that a court is ruling on process and globally, and this means it's it's a it's a very very it's a landmark ruling which must uh, right. uh, we must be keen on what they were saying. Yeah. All right. Uh, so what really uh, are, are people saying? Because I can see also the DCJ Mulu, um, you know, was trending. There were quite a number of uh, remarks, both negative and positive. As you can imagine, it was uh, she was coming at a point where she uh, held that the nullification really was warranted. And uh, you can imagine the people, especially Jubilee supporters who are coming out uh, to really poke holes into what she was saying. Uh, what are some of the tweets that you were able to uh, follow on uh, uh, Twitter in regards to uh, the DCJ? Yeah, in regards to the C DCJ, it's quite sad that some Kenyans decided to uh, uh, to pay more attention on the sensational side of things uh -huh. uh, in terms of her reading style, her, her hair, her nails. But <laughs> there, there were key issues that came out from her judgment, especially around technology, uh -huh. missing ballot papers, <laughs> the entire process, and also the disobedience of a court order by the IEBC uh -huh. in terms of accessing the logs within uh -huh. the server. Yeah. Interesting. The other thing that I'm seeing uh, trend is uh, Namibia. Um, that's about, that's supposed to be Namibia. But what did Trump do uh, this time around at that luncheon of African leaders with African leaders? That's also trending. <laughs> yeah, Africans are wondering: Does he really know where Namibia, Namibia, Namibia is <laughs> geographically? <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you know, m most most of the guys are saying that he was referring to a non-existent African country. <laughs> but uh, something to take away from that is that uh, this time around, at least Trump had something positive to say of, about Africa. Oh, really? Uh, so yeah, yeah. In terms of um, Africa being, you know, like Africa being the the place to go, especially when it comes to business and investments. Mm -hmm. So I think besides his mispronunciation of. Of, of Namibia, there are th there are more, there are mu there's much bigger things that he said that we need to be paying mm -hmm. concentration to. Okay. And one of the jokes online was, uh, what if Trump was to pronounce Niger or to did say? <laughs> Niger, I'm sure it should be something complicated. Yeah, yeah but interesting. There's always uh, an interesting conversation online when Trump is involved. Thank you very much, Kimani Nyoike, joining us uh, by way of Skype, just giving us the details of uh, conversations that are currently ongoing uh, online.